Right, so tonight I'm going to tie a very famous Mayfly pattern. This is Anderson Spent, and it's attributable to Sam Anderson, who lived in Clavy, which is a village about seven or eight miles over that way. And he fished this on Loch Erne in the 50s and 60s, as far as I'm aware. So, generally, this fly is tied on a long shank hook, but uh, I'm not overly keen on that. Uh, I'd rather use a standard hook and maybe go a size bigger so that you've got the extra gape. But uh, long shanks, I think, give leverage for flies pulling out, but that's just maybe that's just in my head. Right, so tail on this fly is a natural cock pheasant tail and brown. So I'm going to put on a tail that's roughly maybe one and a half, two times the length of the body and three strands here. So put that on. At this point I'm going to put on the wings. I'm going to just use a black cock cape here. Uh, now very often when I see this thing tied uh, it has very skinny hackle points. Um, that's not something again I'm overly keen on so I'm just going to use a general sort of blunt cock feather. Just use a, an Indian cape I suppose. So I take the two Hackle points. Nip them off. Now I just want to see how wide that's going to be. Now I'm going to take these and put the two shiny sides together. And I'm going to set that on roughly in the middle of where I think my hackle is going to be. Wrap those on and come back to the tail. So, this fly tends to have a small black hackle, just a couple of turns, just to, I suppose, give it extra floatability. So, I'm going to use a black genetic cock hackle here. I'll tie that in and take it back the butt and I'm going to put on just one or two turns there and then tie that in and snap it off. Okay. The body on this one is going to have a black rib, so I'm just I'm using black tie and silk, so I'm just going to make myself a loop here and tie back on itself and just let that hang, and I'll use that as my rib. So, uh, for the body on this one, you can just use uh, white floss or white silk if you want, but. Understand of it is that it had a plastic coat. I'm going to remove my black tie and silk at this point and I'm going to use this, which is a uh, big fly uh, and that's a uni tie and silk that sometimes you use for tying obviously big flies, pike flies, saltwater flies, but I keep it on a spool and a bobbin holder and then it makes it really easy to tie on a body quickly. Now, as I said, this one was supposed to have a, a plastic coating, so what I'm going to do is just use a grip seal bag and cut a strip off that. And then if I tie that in with my white silk as I go down, take that back as far as the black hackle, allow it to untwist itself so that it keeps laying flat. And then come forward again. Get to the front there 
I'm just going to put on a couple of half hitches and remove that. And now we'll go back to our black tine thread. So we wrap the plastic over the white portion. And at the front there I just stretch the plastic and that'll make it thinner, easier to tie in, just watch you don't snap it. Fold it back on itself, tie it off and cut. So now the two strands loop here that I have from earlier, I'm just going to twist that to make one cord. And then I'll wrap that forward. that in. Fold it back on itself. Alright so for the hackle we're going to use a, a grizzled saddle. Now again very often when I see this thing tied it has a very small anemic little hackle which doesn't look right to me so I tend to produce one that is quite large seems more natural to me. So I strip off a little bit at the base and tie that in. So now we take our two hackle tips and splay those out sideways and then we put a couple of wraps on in front of it and then maybe a little figure of eight or two through it and a couple more wraps in front and come back to the back of our thorax. So we now have a splayed spent style wing there. I'm just going to put a little bit of super glue in my well there and then get my double needle and put a little bit of dab super glue there just to fix that in position. Wrap up to the back of our black feathers, and then we'll go in front. Just let the hackle untwist itself, and now we'll start to come backwards again. I'm just being careful not to take too much of a turn across those hackles, as I don't want to displace them. And when I get to the rear here, what I'll do is pull my fibers forward so I'm not trapping any down if I can help it and try and get on a wrap clean at the back. And then if I take my tying thread, whip off that hackle point and just wiggle wrap through till I get to the black hackle points and just make sure that I don't wrap them forward. Take that silk right through to the front. And now we'll make a head and finish the fly off. So you can fish it like that if you want. But in general what you do is turn the fly over and just with a good sharp pair of scissors just cut off anything that sticks downwards so that you're going to end up with like a half spent style. And then I'll take my double needle and the super glue again. Under here is just right in the, the cut ends, right along the center of it. I'm just going to put a dab of super glue down into that because that'll stop my hackle unraveling should it ever break. And then I'm also going to just super glue the head of the fly. And there we have. A 
Andersons. Spent me. Yeah. 